I want to send you to your mommy's room to bring out a charm under her bed. Come. You will remove it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a box. It's a an ancient so something she's she's put there. Hmm? And that's why you're being pressed in the dream. They hold you always. And they tie you. Is that correct? Have you told me this? You haven't told me. Come. Now, just to show you. Okay? Just to show you something. I'll take you. I'll take you. On the one second, you, you, you travel into your mom's room. And you will remove that charm. Eh? And then you come back here. And it will vanish. Hmm? Amen. Mm. Eight. You ready? Like for you, your mom is in Nigeria, right? Yes. Okay. yes, Papa. Okay. For you, you have to travel through a flight to be there. But your soul doesn't have to travel through the flight. I just need to open the atmosphere. Because everything is linked in the atmosphere. <laughs> Ready? Now, a sound coming from his mouth. It's not normal sound. Zia radio makura rabasiku zia eko parato zike yada rabasiku Maria zia rabasio ready. Rabababa, Maniko rato ziko paratosia redia makata tata erotia. What is he saying? Ripa rigo zekeado makura tata. The charm has been destroyed. He traveled. You will hear from him later. Parfait de papa, parfait de mama, parfait de sons. My name is Christian Onyeka Chiodo. I'm a son of the house. Um, papa called me out from the congregation this evening and he said he will send me in a journey to my mother's house. Right under my mother's bed, there is a charm that she kept there. So, and he also talked of uh, me being pressed in the dream. I will want to first confirm that of the word of me being pressed in the dream. It has been an recurrence um, situation in my dream that on a several occasion I'm being pressed in the dream. And as God may have it, Papa, I also have been seeing Papa in my dream coming to rescue me and also wake me, pray for me in the dream and also wake me up in the middle of night to start praying in the middle of night. So when he said he was going to send me to my mother's home under the bed where she's burying the charm, all of a sudden I was, I, I really cannot say what happened, but I was out. Then literally later I saw myself like right in our house in Nigeria, right in my mother's room, and then my hand was fixed under the bed. And all of a sudden, it seems like there is a battle going on there, or what I really cannot understand 
the forces that was happening there. It was, it was something that you, I can't just describe what that took place. But that's, it's, it's more like there are hands helping me and things were just happening in that place. All of a sudden, I saw myself again here in church. I'm still in shock, like I've been in South Africa for a very long time and I've not gone home. And see myself at home again, though not in the usual circumstances, it was, you being fly, it's, it seems like you are not just alone. There are forces that takes you. You, you are not alone, it's just what I can say and it's something that I, I, I really cannot explain because I'm still trying to comprehend what happened. Maybe when I get home I try to meditate on it, try to understand what happened but I think it's just beyond explanation and understanding. It is something beyond here. It, it's an experience I have never seen, it's something I have never experienced in my life and this has really brought me close to God. God is real. Believe me when I say God is real. If you haven't experienced it, wish to experience it, come to church, come sit under Papa and learn a lot. I have a lot of miracles, a lot of things that has happened in my life in these four months. A lot has taken place in my life that I do not even have time to testify about them. But I can tell you that a lot have changed in my life. I was addicted to weed, I was addicted to smoking and drinking alcohol a lot, but all of a sudden I stopped all those things. I also want to use this opportunity to testify what the Lord has done in my life. Right from the day of the deliverance night that was organized in the church. So I attended the deliverance night and Papa located me specifically and he told me that I needed deliverance, truly. Before the deliverance, I was going through a lot. I succumbed to an advice, an instruction, the pressure from my family, especially my mom and my elder sister. Then I sent money home and they did some traditional things. Kill whatsoever they kill. And the processes was long at the point I wasn't comfortable with the process, then I restrained from the processes, and that became a problem to me. Uh, the fight began between me and my mom and my elder sister. Then at the point the process, I was depressed, I was frustrated, then I was addicted to weed, I was addicted to drinking of alcohol, but at the time of this predicament, it became worse that led me to drinking excessively, smoking a lot. I could lock myself in the room. I was so depressed to an extent that I wanted to even commit suicide. I cried all night. I couldn't sleep at night. Um, I went to the clinic. The doctor told me that I was having high blood pressure and then he gave me, he put me on medication. Um, at night, while I was I'm sleeping, um, some some strange creatures would just come right inside my room trying to press me in the room on several occasions i wake up crying like shouting so before the deliverance night i had even stopped coming to church for for what reason i do not know indeed when the devil wants to harm you he will first of all take you out from the church so I was just on my own, not coming to church, but on the process I began to have dreams of seeing Papa in my dream, bringing me out in the congregation, he prayed for me. So luckily for me, when I came to, the, to church the first week, second week, that was the deliverance night. So Papa conducted the deliverance on me, and after the deliverances, I went home that very night, I slept. In a very long time that I have not slept, I slept for the first time in a very long while. I wanted to go to the clinic the next day. Before the deliverance, I was also having a heart pain, chest pain. But after the deliverance that night, the pain subsided. I slept like, like never before. So the next day, I couldn't went to the clinic. And then the, the, the following day, I went to the clinic. The doctor checked me and then he told me my blood pressure had returned back to normal. Since then to date, I have not taken weed nor smoke alcohol. Um, the, the, the frustration, the pain in the chest disappeared.
everything about me return back to normal and I have not missed church since then. I became consistent in church. My life came back to normal and things were moving on normal apart from the dreams that I let us see that people coming to press me. The Papa also located me and then he told me about it. I'm perfect now. I just want to testify the goodness of God in my life. I will have to add this that the devil will never arm you while you are in the congregation, in the gathering of the saint, until he is able to take you out. And he will always give us reason to justify our absential in church. Wherever we see ourselves missing church services, we should just know that the devil is after our life. But when we always abort together in with the sons, there is no way that the devil can ever arm us. Thank to Papa, thank to Mama, thank God to Papa for allowing himself for people like us in this end time. Just want to say a big thank you and God bless. Join us for worship every Sunday. First service, 7 a.m. Second service, 10.30 a.m. School of Revelation, our Bible study at 6 p.m. A time of in-depth study of God's Word. It's time to come to the knowledge of truth and grow in revelation with the bondservant of Christ, John Anosika. Healing Nights with Jesus, every Tuesday at 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. An atmosphere of miracles, where the man of God takes time to minister to different cases. Christ remains the solution to every problem of man. Venue, 416 Vortrecker Road, Maitland, Cape Town, South Africa. Telephone, plus 27-21-510-4029. WhatsApp, plus 27-63-423-5895.